back. During the spring, snakes began coming out of hibernation, which means snake bites are increasingly common in East Texas. But the big question, do you know what to do in case a snake bites you? So joining us is Kevin Skinner, a physician's assistant with ETMC Urgent Care. Good morning. Yeah, hi, thanks for having me. Oh, happy to. So you probably see a lot of people coming in with snake bites this time of year. Certainly, yeah. And it, the past two years have been mm -hmm. even uh, more significant snake bites just because Ooh. of the uh, the amount of rain that we've had, they tend to bring the snakes out, and mm -hmm. and so um, we we see um, everything from people walking into uh, a furniture store, which I've had before, someone get bit by a snake there in a furniture store. Yeah, and Yikes. and all the way to people uh, with the common things digging into brush, and they get bit by a snake there. So oh, so there's yeah. a, a few things you need to watch out for, I assume. What yeah, are those? yeah, certainly. Well, snakes tend to be more active at nighttime, mm -hmm. so obviously if you're walking out to say turn off your sprinkler or to you know water a plant and it's nighttime certainly wear shoes and watch where you step try to use good lighting right. um, that is a more common sense approach you know to snakes and obviously not um, walking around um, brushes without looking where you're stepping so mm -hmm. you know Right. So I'm sure this varies based on if it's a poisonous snake or not, and we'll dive into you know how to determine which is which. Certainly. But what's the first thing you should do when you're bitten by a snake? Yeah. Well, the big thing is just not to panic. That's mm -hmm. you know a person's first reaction when they see a snake is to kind of panic. So I would. Um, it, it, the opposite kind of goes. It, the less you panic, the less you're going to increase your heart rate and your blood flow to circulate the venom. So okay. not to panic, and then if you can get someone to drive you to the emergency room or to call an amb ambulance if you need that, mm -hmm. then um, there's kind of the the old thought process of applying ice or cutting and sucking the snake bite. Right. Obviously, as late as the 70s, that was still something that was uh, recommended. So mm -hmm. we we recommend no ice. Um, okay. We don't recommend running anyway, just to calmly kind of make your way to the, the nearest emergency room and uh, it, elevate the limb, you know, mm -hmm. to the level of the heart if possible, like I said, and um, you don't have to give any pain medicine, don't use any alcohol, um, and just make your way as quickly as you can to get uh, evaluated. Okay, so you're suggesting no matter if it's venomous or anything, just to get to the emergency room. Correct, it's, it's often mistaken, people mistake venomous snakes from non-venomous and vice mm -hmm. versa. So um, unless you're a, a fairly good professional at recognizing mm -hmm. snakes, it's it's better off to have someone observe you and see if you're going to have any reactions. Okay, so from first glimpse, is there a way to tell what's poisonous and what's not if you come across a snake? Yeah, it, it certainly is. There's um, In East Texas, we have four poisonous types of snakes. We have mm -hmm. the, the pit vipers, which we all kind of heard of, the rattlesnakes, the cotton mouths, also called mm -hmm. water moccasins. And then we have um, the coral snakes, which is not in the pit viper mm -hmm. um, clan. And then we also have the copperheads, which people are probably pretty familiar with those. So the coloration on the snakes is obviously a, a big thing. Rattlesnakes are pretty e easily distinguished. Copperheads are obviously kind of have a copper color. And then water moccasins are mostly black. Uh, they tend to have a yellow belly. Okay. And, um, and then coral snakes, we know them by their, their pattern, you know, red and yellow. So uh, triangular shaped head is one good way, but also some non-venomous uh, snakes have a um, have a triangular looking head. So, okay. you know, it is difficult, especially whenever you're, you know, kind of in panic mode, so to speak. Oh, absolutely. So moral of the story, just so. get to urgent care. <laughs> Certainly, yeah. <laughs> get, right. get to be seen and, and checked out. That way, um, someone uh, who's a professional can, can take a right. look. Better safe than sorry, sure. right? Okay, sure. well, thank you so much for all this information. You're yeah, stay safe out there. All right, well, coming up 